Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to copy and paste trade ideas from the Solex app. So first things first, from the Solex app, obviously you have all the different educators that you are subscribed to and there's the activity feed. If I was going to be taking a trade idea, let's say that there was an alert that just came out in real time, I'll be notified of that trade and I can click into it and it will look something like this. Now this is a trade that's you know been shared in hindsight, but I wanted to show you guys how to copy and paste this trade in real time for future ideas. So come back to this when you're getting ready to take your first trade and follow this video step by step. Now specifically in this video, I'm gonna show you how to copy and paste trade ideas on Sway charts. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So first things first, we can see that this is a trade idea that was called out from Idris and it's on gold versus US dollar and we can notice that it is a buy position. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to take a look at is the order type. So we'll see that at the very top of the list where it says market execution. That basically just means right here, right now, this trade is live, it's active, you wanna go ahead and take your position. And if it's a market execution trade, you don't have to worry about the entry price because it's going to be right here, right now. So all you're gonna to need to do is from Sway Charts, all right, what you're gonna do when an idea comes out is you're gonna click trade in the top or the bottom left corner. All right, you're gonna make sure that it is set to what you want it to, right? You're gonna choose the market, you're gonna choose what you were wanting. So in this case, I want gold. So I'm gonna type in XAU USD, select that. And the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is click the gear in the top right corner and make sure that my options are set to full. Okay, this is what's going to allow me to accurately put in my stop loss and take profit price. So when I click SL, I'm gonna to wanna to choose price, TP, price. Okay, you don't want it to be on pips, you don't want it to be on percentage of equity, although you could you know, mess around with that a little bit for risk management reasons. But for now and for this example, you're just gonna choose price on SL and TP. The next thing you're gonna do is from the called out trade idea, notice how there is a copy button beside each of these parameters. So it makes it very, very easy to copy, paste, and profit with the educators. So all you're gonna do, all right, cool, it's gold. I have my entry price there. It's right here right now, it's a market execution. So I'm gonna focus on the stop loss price. I'm gonna copy the stop loss price and paste that in to my Sway charts like so. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy one of the take profits and copy and paste that into my Sway charts as well. So in this instance, and for every instance, I would encourage you guys, if you're just starting out, only look at take profit one and two. All right, in fact, start off just taking take profit one, and then as time goes on, you can start taking take profit one and two in multiple positions. But for this example, we're just gonna take take profit one, and I'm gonna copy and paste that into where it says TP on my broker. Now, in terms of your lot size, you wanna make sure that you're trading with proper risk management. So the best rule of thumb for this is making sure that you are risking 0.01 lots per $500 that you have in your trading account. So on gold, if we're taking a look at gold and I have a $500 trading account, I'm gonna be taking a 0.01 lot size. Uh, for this instance, I have an account that's just around $5,000. So I'm gonna be taking a 0.09 which is in alignment with my proper risk management. And so just like that, I'm now entered into this trade. Now, obviously this is a trade in hindsight, so this isn't an in real time right here, right now uh, illustration. This is one that um, you know was from a previous trade idea, but that's simply put how you'd be taking your trade. And then from Sway Charts, uh, obviously you can take a look at and you can see the progress where it says profit and loss at the top there. So you can see, you know, currently I'm down 50 cents, but I'll be holding this trade until the take profit right up here for an $120 win. And you can see that I'm risking with my stop loss around $50 on that trade. So about 1% of my account, which is good in terms of risk management, you wanna risk around 1% of your account balance or keep it simple with the lot sizes, 0.01 per $500 on gold. And yeah, so if I go to my positions, I can see the lot size and the position that I'm currently in a buy for. I can close out this trade whenever I'd like. And uh, if I wanted to close it before hitting take profit, I would just click close. And just like that, my position has now been closed. But with all that being said, that's how you copy and paste trade ideas from the Sway Charts 
mobile uh, application. It's very, very similar if you are doing this on the desktop. Uh, obviously the view is just a little bit different, but um, that's how you go ahead and copy and paste trades on Sway Charts.